Hi again, this is Irma from Food for Healthy Bones. Skelly is in the background, but meanwhile, we have removed the seeds from the winter squash that we're boiling. And the reason why we're boiling it is to get rid of the, the, the little stuff that's holding the seeds inside the, inside the squash, the spaghetti squash. It's gonna to come to a boil, and then all the little fibers will be removed. We'll be able to take this all out easily and then we're going to roast them. And the reason why we're gonna roast them is because seeds are so wonderful for you. They are a great source of fiber, and just a cup, a quarter of a cup of squash seeds contains four grams of fiber. And they're an excellent plant-based source of protein. So there's three grams of protein in a quarter cup of squash seeds. And the seeds from the squash are rich in vitamins and minerals like A, C, folate, potassium, calcium, and iron. And they're a great snack to chew on. Cause so many of my, uh, my members of my committee, of my community, were asking about snacks. So this is a great snack to have. We're going to take the skin off or take the, the fiber off of that and dry roast that. So some of the seeds are very, very easy to separate. Some of them are still attached. It's sort of like the way I feel about, I don't know, my son. Sometimes I'm still attached to him even though He's moving on with his life. So I'm going to continue to separate and throw away the fibrous part. But they're, believe me, they're a lot easier to separate at this stage after they've been boiled than right from the inside of the squash. So this is, as your squash is cooking, this could be something you could be doing. First, I'm going to dry roast these to get rid of the moisture and then add the oil and seasoning. Now, as you're dry roasting seeds or nuts, the key thing is not to multitask and walk away because oftentimes I do that. I'll walk away and think, what was I doing? And then before you know it, they're burning. And again, depending on the size of the squash, this could be a create once and eat three or four times. You know, you know what you can do with these seeds? You can actually have them on top of your oatmeal. You can add them to a salad or you could just snack on them. So this is the dry roasting part. You can just dry roast it if you prefer not to add the oils or spices and just leave it plain, but I like to have a little more flavor. Get rid of this little piece right here. I think they're almost done for the next step, which is to coat them. And the reason why you're going to put a little oil on them so that the spices can stick to the seeds. I'm going to add a little avocado oil. Just a little bit. Just a little. Mix it up. And then I'm going to add a little bit of sea salt. Trying to get a little bit more minerals in here. And also decided to use this curry powder, because why not? Now maybe curry powder is not your thing, but you know what you like. I'm going to add them to this wonderful little cast iron skillet. Spread them around a little bit and put them in the oven cooking next to my squash. I'm going to check on the seeds. Oh, they look nice. Mm hmm. And then we're going to give them a taste. Skelly, what do you think? Nice and crunchy, salty, good flavor. They're good to go. So I will let them cool and then put them in a little jar and use them either as a snack or on top of my salad or in my oatmeal or just plain. And that's a good thing.